This is how I built my very first rendering PC with absolutely no experience. And I'm actually really proud of it. But why did I even need to build a PC in the first place? To answer that, we gotta go back to 2020, and I promise this will just take one quick second, but it's really important. As strange of a year as 2020 was, I was busy rendering my concept card designs while trying not to blow up my MacBook. My website, product renders, concept art, and video editing was way too much for my 2014 MacBook, so I decided to start looking into building a PC. When you first start researching, it's like reading an alien language. It is literally just the weirdest stuff in the world. Oh yes, attached to my motherboard is an 8-core 3.2 gigahertz CPU. What? What? Anyway, I called my brother right away and after an hour on the phone, I still didn't understand any of it. He led me to PCPartPicker.com and it really helped me figure out the compatibility and I felt a little bit safer knowing that it was only showing parts that were compatible. We're almost done, I promise. And be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I have a very special announcement. And if you're not already subscribed, I know you're not in our little secret club. It's pretty cool and it still applies to you, so you might want to, I don't know, stick around. Who knows? So after loads of research, I finally understood all the different components, but I never ended up pulling the trigger. I I actually ended up buying my Mazda RX-8 instead, but I can't escape my love for design and my MacBook still sucks. We're gonna go through all of the different parts and specs that I chose, but first I know that you wanna see the build process. These are the last two boxes. This is now yours. Merry Christmas. No clue what I'm doing. So I've literally done one thing so far, installed this fan, and it was backwards. Looks good, I guess. Now this? Oh, oh snap. It's got lights, there's another light. What's that light? Oh, it's RGB. I hate it. So let's go over some specs of this machine right here and then we'll compare it to the MacBook and just see how much this thing just trumps that. 
All of the parts I'm using, as well as the PC part picker list, are linked down in the description below, in case you just cared enough to, you know, look it up for yourself. But let's pull that up really quick. Starting it off with the CPU, I went with an Intel Core i7-10700F. I did not go with the K just because I don't need integrated graphics. But moving on to the motherboard, it's an MSI Mag B560 Tomahawk Wi-Fi ATX LGA1200 motherboard. So, it's... It gets confusing. For the RAM, I went with twin 16 gigs. Um, they have RGB in them. They're really cool. They're Team T4 CDR4 3000 CL16 memory. Honestly, RAM I know the least about. For the storage, Samsung, which one was it? The 870 Evo. Uh, my brother told me to get an 860 Evo. He said don't buy anything else because obviously memory is pretty important. The 870 is the successor. Apparently it's faster and it was cheaper than the 860. So I went ahead with the 870. This is the most important part of the entire build. This is the part that, uh, ooh, literally half my budget was this one part, the graphics card. If you know anything about computers, you know the graphics cards right now are like one of the most rare items that you can get. They're just insane. The one I got is an EVGA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. It's not a top of the line model. What is cool, however, is that I do a lot of work in Blender and Blender 3D is optimized for RTX cards. So that's why it is just lightning fast. The case, as you see, this is, this is an NZXT H510. If there's one thing I could change about this build, it would be the case. I absolutely love this case. It is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. I am a sucker for minimalism. The problem is that everyone else is too. And I like to be unique. This case is not unique. Every single build on YouTube, on the internet, on a desk is in this case. And it makes me a little bit sad. I should have chosen something different. The power supply is just an MSI MPGA GF 750 watt 80 plus gold. I upgraded the case fans. Those are inner max. They move like 68.27 CFM. They're 120 mil fans. They're RGB. They work with the motherboard software so all the lighting can change and it looks awesome. So there you go. And that concludes the actual PC build. We're now getting into some accessories here for the monitor. Um, this thing's out of stock now. I mean, most of these parts are out of stock. They come in and out of stock and change price all the time. For the monitor itself though, I went with this MSI monitor. It's a 34 inch ultra wide, which means it's a 21 to nine, I believe is the ratio. It's a curved display. And the cool part is it was only 360 bucks. It was super cheap for the performance that I get and I get super productive which is great. The keyboard, which is a Logitech MX Keys. I was gonna go with the Craft, but decided there's a little turn dial thing to control all the Adobe software, like Photoshop filters and everything. It's more work than it's worth, okay? So I saved 70 bucks and bought the base model, but the keyboard is the same. This mouse is amazing, dude. It's a trackball and I'm absolutely loving it. I work five times fast, between four and five times faster than than a regular Apple Magic Mouse. What is it called? It's the Logitech MX Ergo. Looks like my cost right here was $2,344. That's with the monitor, with the keyboard, the mouse. If you were to take that off, that's like, it's under $2,000 for the actual build. What's in the actual case right there, the tower is under $2,000, which is just insane. Now let's get into some performance because that's what really counts, my dude. All right, we're starting with Blender. Boom, there it is. It's the lime green Nissan Z that we just did last video. This this green Nissan Z was actually the last video I did on the MacBook before upgrading to the PC. So from now on, the videos are gonna be insane. That last video sucked, man. It was just so much processing power. I almost blew this computer up like four times in a row. Render image. It is only rendering 64 samples. And here's the resolution. So we're still waiting. I don't know if you can hear that, but all the fans kicked on. I think it just died. <laughs> Dude, it literally just died. The battery died. All the fans just kicked on as much as they could, and it, it literally, I gotta plug it in, just because that's that's not a good enough test. I actually need to see how long it's going to take, not that it just literally dies. Oh my God. You see what I mean? You see how much this sucked? All right, we're in my kitchen. You know why? Me either. Just kidding, it's because I didn't have enough plugs. Well, there's that. I can literally feel myself getting older just waiting for it. Yo, something just popped up. There we go, it's been going for five minutes and it just started. It says the time left is 11 minutes. So it's it's not insanely slow, but I definitely can't render any animations, especially at 30 frames per second. That would take like, like a week. I also wanna mention that that render right there actually doesn't have a background, so it's only rendering the car. No environment, no crazy lighting, nothing like that. That's insane that it took, what? 15 minutes just to render that? 
boom, there it is. And check this out. I can literally go rendered in the viewport and it has no issue. That's literally, that's, that's rendered. I'm looking at it. That's insane. And right now it's still set to CPU, so let's set it to the GPU. That's the graphics card, not the processor. I just turned on viewport denoising, so that's what I'm talking about. The RTX card, look at this, dude. It's literally denoised. So all that pixelation that goes on here where it's trying to calculate the data, look, boom, gone. And that right there is why the RTX is a monster, even though for gaming, it's not that great of a card. Render, render image. So right now we are rendering on the CPU, not in the graphics card right now. So my CPU is really not built to be anything crazy. Really it's the graphics card that's supposed to be insane. Check this out. Time remaining two minutes. So under five minutes total for this render as compared, that's three times faster. That's just my, just my CPU is three times faster. That's crazy. Let's cancel this and start on the graphics card. <laughs> So that right there was live. That was real time. I literally did not cut. I didn't wait for anything. That's insane how fast that is, dude. There we go. It just finished. It says two minutes, one second. All right, everyone. It is time for the big announcement. Start your weeks off right, because now that your boy Joe has this monster PC, I'm gonna finally do that passion project that I was talking about. On every Monday morning, 8 a.m., we're going to be uploading a new design video. So you better come back every Monday, starting this Monday. So I'm sure you've seen this video pop up on your home feed, right? That is my 1992 Mazda Miata. However, what would happen if I completely redesigned it and did it again? That's exactly what we're going to be exploring in the first episode. The second episode, I have no clue. Probably like a Cybertruck or something. Like I said, it is a passion project, and I'm super excited to be doing this, dude. So anyway, I'll see you this Monday. That video is probably already live if you're watching this later, so check that out right there. Anyway, thanks. Love you.